Abbas Fadil knew war was coming. The Iraqi filmmaker left his adopted home, France, in search of the banal yet precious moments of life that make up our existence. With this new war, I was afraid of losing what I loved, what I remembered. They weren't spectacular things. Being with family around the fire, having tea in the morning, taking walks, teasing between boys and girls, brothers and sisters. Between February 2002 and March 2003, Fadel shot 120 hours of footage, both in his family home and in the streets. During the first part of the film, Saddam Hussein is still in power, and news stations all over the world relayed accusations that his regime was harboring weapons of mass destruction. Iraq was one of the countries they talked about the most. But you would never see Iraqis. I wanted people to know that other than Saddam, there were real people who had nothing to do with the regime and who risked suffering more than the regime in this war. The second part of the film shows life after the end of the dictatorship. American forces patrol the streets and residents worry about the future. There was hope that in the weeks and months to come, that things would get better, that violence would end, that there would be a real government, a real democracy. Today we know that, in fact, things just got worse. For over five hours, Fadel takes the viewer through mundane moments fraught with apprehension. Like for Iraq, Fadel's young nephew Haidar's future is at stake. His death by a stray bullet reminds us fate can be a dirty word.